Hey everybody, welcome to another one of Chris's beer reviews. I saw this cool looking beer on the shelf. I'm still contemplating whether or not I've already had this before. There's reasons behind that. I'll get to that if someone has to ask me that question down below. Uh, the brewer is called Packer. I believe the P may be silent and it's Chore. Uh, Hacker Chore. If you, if you actually go to Hacker uh dash p s c h o r r dot d e that is the website so you can check out the brewmaster there and his fine brews uh of course we got the dude himself right here uh not meaning to put up the middle finger there of course it's a 500 milliliter bottle from germany and we're looking at a 5.5 percent abv and this is a vice beer I love my vice beers. So we got this one brewed real cold, uh, considering the amount of alcohol, I'm sorry, the amount of uh, beer we're going to be having in here, I want to pour it into this wonderful, you know, 500 milliliter Baltica glass. As you can see, kind of have like a growler head here. So I'm just going to be ripping off this. I don't want anything to obstruct the wonderful pop. Oh. Uh, I don't know if you saw that. It was very slow. Smells very much like a vice beer. Actually, I was at the beer fest yesterday, and I saw something really cool. Uh, Great Lakes Brewery was serving a beer on tap, and it was a, a vice beer that was spelled W-E-I-S-S-E. -S -S -E. It's supposed to be pronounced vice, like Edelweiss. I didn't say Edelweiss. I said Edelweiss. <laughs> uh, yeah, so... The whole point of me bringing this up is they had a, a cool beer that was called Miami Vice, spelt W-E-I-S-S-E, -S -S -E, and I thought that was really clever. Anyways, uh, I really like this blue, you know, blue plastic finish here. I, every other uh, growler ever opened uh, had a red finish on it, so that's cool. That's different. Anyways, let's get to the pour. Uh-oh. What did I do? Well, I poured this one terribly. I'm not even going to mention the head until it dissipates a bit. But uh, as you can tell from the color, very much like a vice beer. Uh, you have like a tr very translucent, orangey looking color. Uh, kind of copper tone. Nah, more orange. And uh, I just keep on smelling uh, oranges and coriander, I believe. What's left in here? Just in case there's some sediment at the bottom, I thought I'd mix it up a bit. All right, there's the most boring part of my video right there for you. I'm not even going to mention the head because I ruined it, but okay, I might as well. We got like a three, four finger head here. Very, very, very creamy head. Awesome, awesome head. Actually, I've never seen that kind of a creamy head for a Hefeweizen beer before, so that's a very good compliment. Let's go on for the taste and see what it's like. Some goodness. Uh, no complaints. Uh, my only complaint behind Vice beers is when they come out really bland. And this did not come out bland at all. It's uh, very well rounded. Starts off very refreshing, kind of like watery front. Um, slow transition into the uh, the back taste, and you immediately, you know, are starting to pick up on orange flavors. Um, coriander flavors, floral hops, that kind of stuff. Now, if I read the ingredients on the back here, it says, well, it's not in English, but I'll do my best. 
Here we go. Sorry, I found it in English. Water, uh, malted wheat, malted barley, yeast, and hop. So it might not be talking about oranges or uh, coriander is in there, but you got to realize that when you're dealing with ingredients on beers, they don't have to show everything if it's not unhealthy, right? Like, like if it's a chemical that's going to hurt you, of course, you're, they're obligated to put it in. But, but sometimes they neglect to, to put in ingredients uh, on the ingredients that's just because they don't want you to know, you know, how, how it was made. Like, could be wrong. Any Hefeweizen style beer I've ever had, I usually taste oranges in it, or orange peels, uh, or or orange peel, you know, flakes that you can flake off, right? <laughs> Excuse me. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm quite certain it has the ingredients that I've been talking about in here. You know what? The hops in general that they mentioned on there could have huge impact on. Uh, on the flavor being a very floral flavor, and the floral flavor could be making it taste orangey, I'm not too sure, but there's definitely oranges in there, and I'm definitely picking up on like something that resembles coriander. Uh, another thing that I wanted to mention was that it says that it has malted barley. I am not a barley fan in the slightest, and I am not tasting barley in this beer, so it's right for me. Very well-rounded beer. See, one thing that I find with some uh, Vice beers is the bland ones aren't refreshing. Like you can't drink it and and actually feel like it's quenching your thirst. This, on the other hand, I can drink it and drink it and drink it, and I'm telling you, I'm gonna my thirst will be quenched you know, somewhere within the bottle. <laughs> it's very refreshing. That's what I mean by well-rounded. It's got to be all around of it. Front taste, middle taste, back taste, and most importantly, is it refreshing? It's probably uh, one of the better vice beers I've had out there, so I'm going to be giving it a good rating. Um, let's see here. I'm actually starting to pick up on uh, malted, uh, malted wheat taste now never been able to pick up on that before. It's kind of like a an aftertaste that's starting to come out as I'm getting closer to the bottom of the bottle. But uh, yeah, it's great. Uh, it worked really well with my Baltica glass. If it was for the fact that I would have poured better, it would have looked better. So everybody, that's it. Oh, I'm so tired from the beer fest. Uh, I'm going to let you all know right up straight. I I don't do this because I don't normally drink as much as I do unless I'm doing something like the beer fest. But people keep telling me that when you have a hangover, the best thing to do is to open a beer. And usually that's what alcoholics need to do because they're hungover every morning and they have to crack open another beer. So this is my first maybe second attempt at doing this. I actually did really good. The first time I tried doing that, I was way too hungover and that was when I was really young. Didn't work, but I guess right now I got like a fresh light hangover and this is actually working out really well. The thought of food right now just gross me out. I just, uh. listen, when you're at the beer fest and you got 20 something tokens, you have a lot of beer. <laughs> so that's what happened. I'm really worried that I've already reviewed this beer, but at the same time, I'm quite confident that I haven't. So if this says re-review on there and I haven't mentioned it at all, now you understand why, people. All right, this is great. It's not changing anymore. It's the same taste. Uh, I'm going to cut it short because my reviews are usually pretty long. Being the wonder taker that I am, no edits. Uh, so yeah, thanks for joining me on another one of Chris's beer reviews. Don't drink and drive, but drink responsibly. Cheers.